Texas A&M scored four runs in the top of the seventh inning, and the Florida State Seminoles dropped game one of the 2011 Tallahassee Super Regional 6-2 to two, to the Aggies. They got it done, folks, plain and simple. They got it done. You tip your hat, you go to the next day. We couldn't get many two-out hits today, and then that's what that's what wins ball games for you is two out base hits. I mean, he preaches it all the time, and uh, we just didn't do it today. The approach really didn't change um, too much, in my opinion, from what I saw. Uh, they just I failed to make pitches when I needed to. They took advantage of it and scored four runs in that inning. Stripling, that was a beautifully pitched baseball game. He kept us off balance through 120 pitches and and just did a did a great job of, of shutting us down. There's there's gonna be no quit. Um, there's you know 27 guys in that dugout, and uh, everyone is gonna be looking to the other guy uh, for support, whether it's on the field or off the field. Um, you know I think I can speak you know for any one of my teammates and the fact that. Um, we all trust each other. Uh, we all are, are, are really going to come out tomorrow and play uh, you know, our best game of the season with our backs against the wall. If any club could do it of all that I coached, this one can because this one is special. The Seminoles are now on the brink of elimination. They will need to win both Sunday and Monday in order to advance to Omaha and the College World Series. The Knowles will send Mike McGee to the mound. Texas A&M has yet to announce their starter for Sunday. Game time set for 4 p.m. on Sunday. That's going to do it from Hauser Stadium here on Saturday. I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.